The first thing you have to do is take care of this knob. This, traditionally, is the volume control for the Apollo X8. Because you're using your D-Box Plus as the central monitor section for your whole studio, what you need to do is you need to turn this knob on stun. What this does is it turns the monitor outputs, the white ones in the back, into an extra pair of line outs, which is awesome. So now you no longer have eight line outs, you have 10, two of which you use for monitoring. If you remember, you connected the analog monitor outputs of the Apollo X8 to the analog inputs of the D-Box and the digital outputs of the X8 to the digital input AES of the D-Box Plus. What you need to do, go into console, settings, and you need to find the digital mirror and turn it on. That allows you to have the same signal going on two inputs, which means if you're tracking and you want an absolute zero latency environment, you go to the analog inputs. And if you're mixing or if you're doing source switching, you can go to the AES inputs and listen to the D-Box Plus converters. It's nice. If you're tracking, you should be listening to the analog input of the D-Box Plus because it's listening to the analog output of the console of the Apollo system, which means you're going to listen to everything in real time with no latency. If you're mixing and doing capture and doing processing in the box after the D-Box, say for example a limiter or something like that, using something beyond what the real-time four slots of the Apollo can give you, then you need to listen to the digital output of the Apollo X8 through the D-Box Plus D2A converter. All right, so mixing, AES, tracking, use analog. If you want to know just what the sum does, there's a convenient sum button there. And when you click that, all you hear is the summing output of the D-Box Plus with no processing. So it's a very flexible way to know what's going on. Sum is the output of the D-Box Plus sum. AES is the final output of your computer, the whole output of Pro Tools with all the processing on it. And the analog is great when you're tracking in real time and you want to have no latency at all and not have to think about it. These days, when you mix a record, what are you going to check it against? You're going to check it against Spotify or against YouTube or something like that, Apple Music, Tidal. The D-Box Plus has a USB input, which means that you can go to your audio output of your Mac. Remember, I connected a USB cable in the back into this thing right here? Check it out. I can control click on the little speaker icon up there and you can see that my system output for my computer is going to D-Box Plus serial number 0102. That means that now the USB input of my D-Box is my system out. Because when I switch to, for example, YouTube, could be Spotify, but in this case it's YouTube with this dude on it, I can actually listen to him. Because of the extremely popular demand, I am going to take that guy through the converters of my D-Box Plus. So now, if I'm on Speedif, I'm listening to Pro Tools, if I'm on USB, I'm listening to this dude. Take a few minutes to this or the new Britney Spears record, whatever works for best for you. So you can do the source switching right here. Spotify, my mix, Spotify, my mix, Spotify, my mix sounds better than Spotify. Or not, or yes, or not. Same converter. So you don't have to guess where the difference is. The difference is you, your mix, not the converters, not the system. Everything is going through the same machine, which is awesome. Another cool thing they've done is they realize that people have these things in their pockets and so there's a Bluetooth audio input right here so what you can do is you can go to your phone or to your singer's phone who wants to show you the reference of the Britney Spears record and you say okay connect and you can hit some music like this and you can hit Bluetooth so now I can have this running I can have this dude running. So that's the dude. There's the box. CV. And Lolo. All from the same D box, all in real time. So this is a great way to integrate the Apollo X8, which is the best interface you can get right now. That sounds bananas. Has all the features you need, the DSP, the plugins, everything you need. And then this machine that's designed to be the essential sine qua non central of your studio with source switching, speaker switching, sub switching, everything you need with two boxes. It's an amazing all-in-one studio with just these two boxes and actually that's what we chose to use downstairs in the new room and inspiration. A very similar system and we use it every day and it's bananas. Whoa.